In this video, I will explain the philosophy of Ayn Rand. What is a leisure fair state? What Ayn Rand was thinking about economics and non-intervention into economics uh, from the side of the government. I also will talk about a very interesting case, president of Argentina who is libertarian and also talks a lot about leisure fair state. My name is Jana Matvichuk. Uh, I give lectures uh, in Ayn Rand center in Ukraine and I live in Kyiv. Okay, the principle of non-intervention. This is what we are talking all the time about non-intervention into the business development. What is this? Uh, economical doctrine laissez-faire. You heard about it, laissez-faire. Who heard about it? Put your hand, raise your hand up. Good. Good that you didn't hear. Super. I can speak now. So, uh, doctrine laissez-faire is the principle of non-intervention. Uh, in French, from French to translate, let uh, me do. Let me do the way I want to do it. Do not interfere. Laissez-faire. This is a very important uh, notion. Remember it. I will read, okay, because it's uh, important uh, things. Government intervention in the economy should be minimal, focused on the protection of people and their property, national security and pro provision of a limited number of public goods, uh, such as, for example, roads. The main argument of the supporters of this principle is the statement that a free economy is a self-regulating system that finds an effective equilibrium by itself, while the intervention of the state uh, distorts the signals received by economic agents. I will stop here on this red one. Uh, so um, now people... Uh, some officials or uh, left uh, liberals say, uh, ah, free market, haha. <laughs> no, free market cannot exist. What you, you want to say that uh, some free people will, will do free actions and uh, they will be safe? No, we need government to come and to control because every action should be uh, under tax, should be under control because you, not smart, you citizens, your kids, we are officials, we are very smart, we are adults, and we cannot leave you uh, citizens in this kindergarten. We need to be your uh, supervisor. Uh, in the opposite, um, through the marketing, if you see that some, if you heard about something, uh, marketing, um, marketing way of phrase, yes. Uh, when uh, a senior manager or marketing manager talks to uh, their team, people who uh, watched to us, to uh, people who followed us, don't understand. I understand yeah. what they need. And but this is different. They do not control. This is from innovators. They this is do not control, but they control. Uh, this we'll, we'll talk about it also later, how our mind is controlled. But anyway, this is not officials that control. Uh, the, uh, this is uh, uh, exactly the way how uh, innovators work. They have product and they want to show, I have this product, you don't know that you need it. Scrub for body, you don't know that you need it. I will show you that you need it. Yeah. This is marketing. But this is the intervention of the state distorts the signals received by the economic agents. What it means? For example, uh, uh, we take uh, uh, this uh, sample of uh, fuel. Again, they give uh, prices. Government say you cannot sell more than 50 uh, grivnas per liter. And this is a bad sign for market. Because uh, the person, the business who brings this fuel, he has uh, like 49, for example, grivnas he spends in to bring this liter, and he earns only one grivna. Uh, and this, when government interferes in prices, this is a bad sign for, for me, for business, because I will not bring more, I will bring less. People would, buy, would want to buy more because uh, for, um, small price, okay, I will go buy more, but uh, the first day they interfere in prices, there is no supply. 
business do not bring more fuel, they bring less, because they don't have just money to bring it. Because every time you need to bring it, you need to buy abroad to bring it, or to produce, to, buy, to pay salaries. And all this thing is uh, called intervention in the economic, uh, um, in economics. Please subscribe to my channel. I have more videos about free economy. Okay, let's go forward. Uh, uh, free market is, is capitalism, is the main idea of capitalism. When uh, free people, adults, not kids, adults working and understand about their selfity, about their self-responsibility, they understand their self-interest and they um, act on the market. So, a quote about capitalism by Ayn Rand. Uh, by capitalism, rent understands full, pure, uncontrolled, unregulated, laissez-faire capitalism. You already know this word, laissez-faire. With the separation of state and economics, in the same way as for the same reasons as the separation of state and charge. So, uh, talking about economics, the most important thing is that economics should be separated from government. Government should give services of law to protect our safety, to protect our life, to protect our property, but not to interfere uh, between my relationship with the delivery guy. Okay, or for example, not to interfere in Uber. I want some guy to uh, give me services of taxi. Why government interferes? They want to take taxes. They want to take, uh, to put some uh, law uh, of um, limitation of these uh, uh, actions, of this business activity. They want to put uh, as uh, RRO. Who knows what is RRO? Now many people think that it's needed to control taxi guy. But this is uh, a change in our mind. We don't understand already what is free market. We forgot how we can behave between each other without officials. We are not kids. This is what Ayn Rand was talking about. Man is a not a kid. Man, human being, is an adult. But officials do everything to make our feel uh, as we are small and we don't understand uh, how to behave. From <sighs> this case, now what is going on? I have another picture today in the morning I found that uh, Few thousand cars cannot go out from Ukraine. Few thousand. Two people died, two, uh, two drivers. They died on the place. They don't know, do they have kitchen? Do they, someone give them food? But they stand in the line. What to do? Uh, libertarians would uh, say first uh, thing what to do is to remove the borders with the EU from our side. It's logical, it's rational. If we want to go to European Union, already we decided to go, uh, destroy these uh, borders between us and you. Not to make, uh, from our side at least, we can do it, but we don't do uh, somehow. We want to EU, but we don't destroy borders. The second decision that officials should go to the field, to, should go to customs to see why it happens, to see how uh, drivers uh, are there, what they're doing, what, what kind of problems they have, and to talk to customs, uh, uh, what is the process, why they're standing there. No one from officials went to customs. No one. They just sit in their cabinets and thinking about uh, something. If we talk about philosophy of Ayn Rand, this problem uh, went out because of uh, collectivism, socialism, that now uh, in all our economic uh, rules because of this, because they protect, protect, uh, Poland protect their own uh, drivers. Yeah, but I will tell you, uh, we are now in Ayn Rand's Institute. She would say, uh, as customer would work normally, freely, we don't need customs at all especially in the system that uh, is invented with, by our officials. We don't need it. This is uh, not free market. This is most important. Okay, uh, for, will we go fast? Libertarianity versus socialism is a very important topic. Uh, libertarianity or objectivism? It's very close. It's a very small um, 
a difference between it, but only in philosophy of Ayn Rand. Ayn Rand would completely agree with two, these three main notions. First, uh, libertarianity is about minimal role of the state. Socialism, everything is under the control of the state. So this is uh, completely two opposite uh, things. In Ukraine, everything is under the control of the state. You agree or not? Human freedom and private property is the most important. Everything, any reform, any changes in government should first put on the fundament liberty, uh, human freedom and private property. All the rest uh, is uh, not important because customs is first not about human rights or property, but it's about taxation how to make more taxes. Now, what kind of problem we have? That government has uh, more than 3,500 uh, enterprises, companies in their ownership. And what is more crazy, that they now nationalize Russian uh, companies, Kipstar, Ocean Plaza, etc. And it also becomes uh, in governmental um, ownership. But who is government? It's people. It's people, it's not some abstract uh, mind, it's people. Okay, uh, we uh, a little bit finish with economics and we continue with another presentation. But here I wanted to emphasize on the uh, difference between uh, freedom, libertarianity and socialism. This is the third uh, thing, the difference between these two notions. So, in libertarianity, Consumer is the king and he will regulate the market. Consumer is you. You buy or you not buy, that's it. Business will work if people decide to buy their products or services. If people don't want to buy, it means it's bad business. Very simple. But um, in socialism, the state is all powerful and knows everything. The most influential are officials and business serves them. But uh, not to tell you everything about, uh, about economics, I will uh, end you with two slides. First one, this is, uh, who, who, who saw this picture? This is the quantity of um, governmental departments who can come and control business in Ukraine. Why so many? It's over uh, 80 uh, departments. 80 institutions. Each of them can come to your business. That's why investors will not come. Never. You can do whatever you want. It's not the war. It's uh, this governmental stuff. Our tax system on the top is like uh, taxes of hell. It's exactly. Yeah. You so remember? The... This, uh, this, uh, taxes yes. Of hell of world. Yeah. A few days ago, yeah. it was the rank of Ukraine. One of the first places uh, of, uh, yeah, yeah, one, yeah, leader, leadership. Yeah, we are leader in something. <laughs> but uh, look, all the, no, uh, it, it's crazy, really. This is what uh, uh, we talk about free market, non-intervention, but this is uh, intervention. But the most important that uh, uh, all these institutions and the ones that you mentioned have the right to come to any business yes. and to ask any questions. And uh, um, they can come and tell you, you had the contract with uh, Ukaraftador in Vinitsa and you didn't build the road. I say, no, I, I never had a contract uh, uh, with Ukaraftador. I don't know. Go to the... Uh, it prove it, yes. Uh, nobody says that we don't need it at all. We say about limited government. As you remember, we started with this. Now, uh, in Ukraine, exactly, we have unlimited government. And you have this picture that it says that it's unlimited control over everybody. And they have more rights than citizens. And uh, when you uh, talk about Ayn Rand, she was uh, against uh, anarchy. She, was, she didn't uh, like libertarians because she thought that they think about uh, we don't need government. But she was for limited government. This is a very uh, important difference. I don't say that I'm uh, fully about Ayn Rand or fully about libertarianism. But uh, I fully understand and I agree that this is the fundament of rational 
uh, notions. So this is uh, logical philosophy, very logical. And don't be in the trap when you think that this is good. This is not good at all. That's it. This is uh, uh, what, how should be. We are not talking so much how should be. We talk how it should not be. And this is the first way to start uh, changes, to understand that this is not right. Ah, for example, this is also interesting. Uh, this is, uh, there is, um, and they calculate how much money you pay to government. This is 2020. And uh, for example, you have 15,000 uh, salary per month. Uh, how many taxes you pay just uh, from your salary? Not when you go to market and also pay taxes, but for, from your salary. For example, this is uh, from 50,000, if you receive it uh, clearly on hands, this is 139 per year salary. And from this, uh, taxes would be this amount of taxes you pay. But you don't pay yourself. Your um, business where you work, your company uh, pays for you. And if you every month or every year would uh, take the formula and put there your uh, salary and the, from this you would calculate the taxes and take it and put it to bank account of government, you will have this responsibility and to, you will understand how much money they take and for what. And you will be responsible to think, why should I pay for this? Should I pay, for example, uh, 59,000 for pensions? Maybe I uh, take my uh, three grandmothers uh, and I will take care about them by myself for this money. Because from these pensions, they also pay taxes when they go to market, etc. So many things, you know, fundamental that completely change in, the, in our mind. That's why we go back to Ayn Rand. Okay, don't, don't interrupt me. We have very interesting things to talk about more. This is slide I wanted to show you. Everything is about uh, um, calculation, Excel sheet. When we talk about business, for example, I say, give me Excel, your calculation of your business. Calculate your idea. Or oh, here starts the most interesting thing. But when we talk about government, somehow we do not calculate it at all. Like with taxes, I show you. Did you know how much taxes you paid? Where did these taxes go? You don't know. You even, if, when you get this uh, um, stipendia, scholarship, you also pay taxes. And then you go to shop, you spend the money, you again pay taxes. Where do they go? I will show you where. <laughs> How many people work as state employees in Ukraine? It's not possible to calculate uh, officially, but uh, a few economists with uh, officials, they try to do it. And they calculated it. It's, uh, um, I took this uh, numbers from Zelizniak. You know, this, there is a deputy. He's socialist completely, I think. He knows this, I told him. Uh, but uh, state employees, he calculated together with economists. 4.8 million people. Four po this is the people for whom we pay salaries every day. Uh, in total, they calculated 10.5 million people pay taxes on their salaries. But from these 10 million, almost a half is uh, state employees, people who work for government. And uh, also over 10 million is pensioner people. Mm -hmm. So it's before the um, big war numbers. Now even less people pay taxes, but more officials, the number of officials didn't change since war. But uh, just take a calculation. So we have like, uh, moment, uh, like 35 million people. Okay, maybe 40. I, I, I don't think that it's 40 million, but let's take 40. It's easier to calculate. 40 million. From them, 10.5 million pay taxes on their salaries. What other 30 millions do? It's pensioners, it's uh, kids, it's people who don't work, etc. So uh, from this 10 million, half is uh, state employees. So around 5 million people make real money in the real economics 
and this is uh, how Ukraine lives today. Small percentage of people make money for real economics. They produce something new because money is what is when you produce something that didn't exist and you sell it. That's why uh, that's how money uh, come out and only business do this. Governmental officials, these five million people, they do not produce anything new. They just or spread money, think to whom give more money or less, uh, and uh, they don't produce money. This is most important. When we talk about economical growth, first what we need to do is to look at these uh, numbers. Where money goes now, the money that we produce. Okay, uh, there are a lot of interesting things about Ayn Rand. Oh, this is a very cool case. Uh, two minutes about this case, and then we go to politics. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Guy. This is a uh, new hero guy of... Uh, did you hear that uh, in Argentina, libertarian, libertarian became a uh, president? Uh, everybody laughing about him. Of course, because uh, they understood that if he will make a great case, and the Argentina will come great again, what he is doing on this video? Uh, he took uh, the picture of 18 uh, ministries and took out this ministry away, this ministry away, ministry of gender away, minister of education away, and he left eight ministers in Argentina. No, this is theory now, this is his intentions. He didn't become president. Uh, it, but we will follow this, follow this case, it's interesting. 18 ministries in Argentina. How many ministers in Ukraine? 19. Ministers, 19 ministers, more than in Argentina. So this is interesting case because uh, generally never libertarian, liberal, libertarian had uh, such a power to change uh, the country. But Argentina has nothing to lose already.